G'day folks. Uh, I just got a quick little uh, information request from some of my more electronic savvy viewers. Obviously not me. <laughs> I mean I know a bit about power supplies but in this case this thing's had a bit of a failure. This is a speed controller from a uh, pizza oven. So what's happened is this is a 110 volt American setup or 120 volt and they've accidentally connected 240 volts straight across it. And it looks like they've blown a bunch of metal oxide varistas in there. I'm um, just wondering, since they want this at least to know on what's going on by the end of the week, I'm just wondering if anyone's dealt with accidental smoke release from electronics and actually fixed them. Because someone's let the magic smoke out of this thing in a big way. And... Uh, even though there isn't much to it, I'm just wondering if there'd be much point in replacing those MOVs and trying it on 120 again. Bearing in mind I don't have the logic control or the motor. Because it's a uh, 0 to 90 volt DC controller and the motor also runs a hall sensor so it knows what speed it's running at. And it also has an uh, electronic input on the front of it there, that connector there. So without that I can't even test the damn thing on the bench. I'd have to send it back to the city, get someone else to plug it in and see if more smoke comes out of it. So, I don't know. The best I could do in such a short amount of time is probably pinch some MOVs out of a uh, good DVD player power supply or some other switch mode power supply. But those things in there are just toast. There's a hole burnt right through the side of that one and out the other. It's just blown clean through and arced over. So, 240 volts, pretty destructive doesn't look like it's taken the fuse but it's probably taken that bridge rectifier too although rectifiers are fairly solid the initial arcing amps was probably pretty bad although the two amp fuse hasn't blown so I don't know it might have been very quick and very violent or it might have done enough run burnt long enough to fry some of these other electronics don't know I'll get the soldering iron out and remove those components in the meantime and see if I can make any markings out on them, but I doubt it. They're pretty well torched. They look like MOVs, metal oxide varistas, but I don't know, they could just be ceramic capacitors or something, considering this thing runs a mains transformer instead of a, uh, like a switch mode power supply. It doesn't look like switch mode to me. Oh well. If anyone's had experience trying to fix something which, which someone's overvolted unintentionally yeah, please let me know but very reminiscent of lightning strike damage it's uh, probably a write-off and about six or eight hundred dollars to replace oh well people make mistakes thanks for watching